new light has been shed on human evolution after a 380 million year old heart, stomach, intestine and liver from an ancient jawed fish was discovered. The fossils were found in the Kimberley region of Western Australia and have been studied using neutron beams and x-rays. Lead researcher John Curtin, distinguished professor Kate Trenjastic joins us now. Professor, welcome. It's such a pleasure to have you with us today. Tell us a little bit about this incredible discovery. Well, it's been a long time coming. Uh, we first started this research over 10 years ago um, and we got incredibly excited when we were in the field and we cracked open a limestone nodule and saw a series of, of rings which we knew was the intestine. But what happened then was we realised if we prepared it in the normal way that we'd dissolve the soft tissue away. And so we put it in a scanner thinking that we were only going to get uh, a little piece of the intestine and were absolutely amazed to find that this, um, this nodule held the entire organs of a 380 million year old fish. Mm -hmm. So aside from this being an incredible discovery, what are the new evolutionary clues that, that you're so passionate about? Well, it, it tells us that uh, these very ancient and very primitive fish were actually very complex. So usually when we think of primitive animals, we think that they're simple. And so that kind of completely overturned that idea. The other thing was that there was always a theory that the evolution of jaws didn't just happen by itself, that uh, it was a whole group of things that changed, which was the heart moving into the, the back of the throat, jaws evolving, and also our neck um, evolving at the same time. And this is the first fossil evidence that shows that those three things were grouped together at the very start of our, our evolution. Mm. So how does one come about uh, finding something like this? I mean, it's very rare, obviously, as you've pointed out in your research, to find a 3D preserved heart. So how did you actually physically come across this? Well, a lot of it was a, it was a bit of luck, um, to be quite honest. Um, we, we went out, we knew there was soft tissue, we were particularly looking for soft tissue, uh, but I, you know, when, when I found it, we had no idea that we were actually going to find a fossil heart. And it wasn't until we put it in the scanner and then started to go through all of those individual slices that we started to realise what a magnificent discovery that we had. And as I said, we started with knowing that we had an intestine, then we got excited because we found the stomach. And then as we moved up, we found a liver. And, you know, the cherry on the, on the icing was basically that we we found a heart but yeah we we had no idea it was there when we first started the search how much more studying will you be doing of, of this particular fossil what, what's next well um one of the really fortunate things about this was it wasn't just one we actually found five fossils with soft tissue and two of them had hearts so that was um that's pretty amazing in itself we're going to go back and we're going to keep looking because there are things that we haven't found. Um, I have one specimen that I know has got the eyes preserved, which we haven't scanned or looked at yet. And I'm hoping that we could find a brain. So, so how long do you think this will take? I mean, obviously you're hoping to find it. You don't know that you will. But, but what sort of timeline um, until we speak to you again and talk to you about your next discovery? Well, I hope it's not as long as the last one, uh, but, you know, we're probably looking at a couple of years because uh, when we're looking at these scans, we examine each scan one by one and uh, it's, it's very time consuming to do that. The other thing is we want to be sure. Mm. Uh, and, um, and as I said, the, the great thing about this was that um, one of the reasons it did take so long is that we made sure that we have more than one specimen so that we could be sure. So I think this is going to require a little bit more field work, um, a lot more scanning and uh, a lot more sitting in front of a, a computer looking at fish slice by slice. <laughs> well, Kate, congratulations on, on such a wonderful discovery and what you're learning for all of us uh, about our evolution. It's been an absolute pleasure to have you with us today. Great. Thank you very much for your time as well.